Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by. This is Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. My name is Carmine. Well, there is an update to the daily build of the latest Ubuntu. Of course, Ubuntu has switched from Unity to the GNOME desktop. So to keep this simple, I'm going to call the latest GNOME or GNOME G3 and the previous GNOME 2 or GNOME 2 G2, just to keep it simple. So Ubuntu has come a long way since uh, the mid-2000s. Now, some of you know, if, if it wasn't for Ubuntu back in 2006, if it wasn't for Ubuntu, I'm not sure I would be here talking to you, to your, to you fine folks. And it was Ubuntu that got me interested from the Windows XP days. It was Ubuntu with G2 desktop, <clears throat> desktop that got me interested to the world, in the world of Linux. Now in 2011, I had, I had to make a choice. Should I switch to GNOME Shell or G3 desktop? Or should I switch to Ubuntu with the Unity desktop? That was a no-brainer, at least for me. Unity was easier to learn out of the box. It didn't require tweaks or extensions to make it work like a G3 desktop. And I thought it was, in the end, for a newbie, for a beginner, out of the two, Unity was easier. And I thought Unity was a step in the right direction. An operating system, Unity was a Linux-based, Ubuntu with Unity was a Linux-based operating system, of course, but more than that, it was instantly recognizable out of the box, a signature OS. You know, you've heard of bands with signature songs. Well, Ubuntu was Linux, Linux's signature OS because when you saw it, you knew that was Ubuntu with Unity. Okay, so we have the default desktop here, sort of, and I'll get to that in a moment. Like I said, this is the daily build. It's not, uh, it's not finalized, of course. It won't be till about two months from now. So I'm testing this inside a virtual box, the safest way, of course, or if you have a spare machine, so much the better. Now with this here, and I have to tell you that compared to Unity, this runs noticeably sluggish or slower than Ubuntu Unity. But it's doable. So this is from, let's see, Fosbytes, I do believe. So we have the new features, Ubuntu 17.10 will ship with indicator, indicator applets and new Ubuntu dock. Now some of the new things here, we have a new Ubuntu dock or Dash 2 dock, a tweak of the Dash 2 dock extensions. By the way, Ubuntu with G3, without extensions and the GNOME tweak tool, it's useless, in my opinion. But let's move on. So the Ubuntu dock is fine. We have application indicator or the indicator applets. I'm not sure why you would want an operating system, whether it's Linux or Windows 10, and not have indications of what you are doing on the taskbar. Why would you not want that? It's confusing. All right, so the window, window buttons are to the right which is easier for me. And we have a trash icon on the screen. So, so far, so good. I did install uh, at least one extension, actually two, but let's take a look at that. Now, once again, without the, um, without the GNOME tweak tool, which is not installed by default, that is a big no-no for everybody. Without the GNOME tweak tool, and maybe as of this testing, another eight or nine extensions to make this usable. Without that, I'm not sure why anybody would want to use this. Again, that is strictly my opinion as a Windows Linux dual booter. But let's move on. So let's close these tabs. Now I installed the uh, Synaptic Package Manager, a terrific tool for installing or deleting software. Maybe not so much for newbies, but it's not that difficult to learn. I did install this Synaptic uh, button extension or whatever you want to call it to make it easier to access uh, Synaptic. And that's probably something I really don't need, but since I like using Synaptic, why not have it on there? I also installed um, the media player integration function, which um, does not seem to be working. Let's see if it'll pop up here. 
So rhythm box by default, which is very good. But there's nothing happening here. Uh, let's try and place something, but I don't think it's going to make any difference. Let's try NPR News. Society that allowed for widespread prosperity. Okay, so that works. But also more individual. Turn that down, but again, there's no media player integration here. So again, this is an alpha build, I do believe. So not everything is going to work out of the box. Now you have this to the left, this Ubuntu dock or dash to dock. And it looks like Unity, which is kind of funny in a way. If if you're making it look like Unity, why didn't Canonical just keep the Unity desktop? Now this looks like Unity and it's not necessarily a bad thing. I, I think it's a good thing. You can't really customize this, you know, if you left click or right click, you can't do anything. And on the panel here, again, right clicking, left clicking, right clicking, you can't do anything without the GNOME Tweak tool, which is not installed by default. Again, that is a big no-no. You can right click on the application. As you see here, play, pause, next, stop, and quit. Show details. Let's just quit. And let's see what we have installed. Now again, and this isn't a virtual machine. It's not running as smooth as what Unity was. All right, so we have frequent and all. And let's see if anything sticks out here. Uh, not really. So the, the applications, and, you, and those of you who have tested G3 before the G3 desktop, no 3 desktop, you've, I'm sure you've seen this before. Nothing unusual here. Uh, the super key or the Windows key turns the search search function on or off. I believe there is a hot corner here that's not working. We can click activities and there you go. Once again, I had to install the GNOME tweak tool. Why is this not installed by default? You know, Ubuntu took a poll from its users, from its fans. Thousands of people took the poll, which is great. You would think the tweak tool would be the number one option or tweak or extension or applet or, or whatever you want to call it. This should be the number one add-on for Ubuntu with G3 and it's not. Anyway, appearance, desktop, extensions. We have the Ubuntu dock. I installed the synaptic button. We have fonts, keyboard and mouse, power. I'm running this on a desktop, so this does not apply to me. Startup applications, print Q applet, the top bar, application menu, on or off, okay, battery percentage, again on the desktop, I don't need it, dates, seconds, um, I guess we can turn that on, week numbers, I guess I can leave that off, windows, okay, what do we have here, window, action key, of course that would be the super key, click to focus, sloppy, <laughs> how appropriate. Okay, so title bar, buttons on or off, placement left or right, very good. And workspaces, dynamic workspaces, number of workspaces. And we have some standard shortcuts here. The file manager. Again, if you run this, do this as a full install, it should run considerably faster. The default colors and, font, and fonts, I don't have a problem with. Let's right click real quick. Change background, see what we have. Let's take a look real quick and then we'll wrap this up. I haven't noticed any crashes in a, in a virtual box, so kudos to the Ubuntu development team. And the usual pretty desktops. You know what, I like trains, let's do that one. Select. Oh, well, that is certainly colorful, isn't it? Well, this is my look, for better or for worse, for a look at Ubuntu, the latest Ubuntu daily build from the eyes of a Windows user 
like myself. It looks terrific. It really does. To the developers of this nice looking operating system, the GNOME tweak tool has to be installed by default or you're just wasting your time at least when it comes to a new user to the wonderful world of Linux. Well, that's all I have for this one. If I missed anything, please let me know and let me ask you the question. Is Ubuntu with G3, is it relevant anymore in this day and age of many choices, of the many choices of Linux-based operating systems such as what I'm using now, Linux Mint Mate? Post your comments below. Good or bad, I'm curious to what you guys have to say. But as for this one, this is Total OS Today signing off into my terrific world of Linux Mint. Ciao.